Hello, it is Saturday afternoon and I am at Government House. It is a glorious afternoon and we are filming three membership classes for transitioning into spring for the Ayurvedic doshas, Vata, Pitta and Kapha. And we are also filming the weekly challenge right now. We're recording. Oh, are we? Yep. It's in the right spot, darling. That was the right spot. I cocked it up though. Try that. Happy Easter! We came down to Clover Point to fly a kite because it's a windy day. But it's actually too windy to fly the kite. And then I was going to set up the camera to do some time lapses, but you can probably tell that it's even too windy to do time lapses because unless I want to risk losing my camera <laughs> it's not gonna happen so we will walk around for a little bit but I probably won't be wanting to do this very long because this much wind is very disruptive to my vata nature <laughs> I'm probably going to ask him to take a Clover Point is the windiest point in Victoria and people actually there's actually a kite festival here in about June I think May or June I will uh, show you that when that happens um, so we'll probably uh, drive somewhere else where it's a little bit less windy <laughs> to check things out okay it's Sunday afternoon and I am going to tackle this bookshelf because every time I walk out of my bedroom I see it and it's where I keep all my reference books and right now it's such a state that I actually can't get at any of my books anymore so that's what's up for the next however long it takes to actually fix this up. The only thing that's accessible on it anymore are our lighting for <laughs> Namaste Yoga so that's what's up. Trinity has a friend over and they're making Easter milkshakes and chocolate nests and this is the milkshake part. We've got ice cream going in and malted eggs and we'll show you the end product in a sec. Okay, my shelves are all bare now except for the lighting which has to stay. And here is a big mess on the floor. Some things are staying, some things are going. Some things are going into storage, like my training manuals, which I really don't go to too much anymore. Sometimes for reference, not too often. <laughs> Mostly I create new more material, but it's good to have them. And then here are all my lesson planning journals. I like to keep them as a backup, but once again, I do go back to them a bit, but not too often. So that's it. And I'm going to uh, put some stuff in storage and then uh, re put some things on the shelf. Okay. Every shelf got cleaned. Everything has a place now. Apparently I have an Oracle deck collection problem. But now they all have a place and I'm really excited too because our hiking books have a place now too where we can easily access them. So lots of hiking ideas coming up. I'm going to pull those out maybe tonight after dinner and look at some ideas of where to go hiking this week. And I changed up my deck on my altar as well. So my altar got a cleaning and resurfacing. I put away winter decks, got out some more spring like decks. Lighting's still there. Now I can actually get out my books and there's space on the shelves now. I have a section for my local island poets there, which is nice that I can just grab those easily. And until our soccer ball bag arrives, we even have a spot for soccer balls so that those aren't falling on my head from the top of the front hall closet anymore. So really cleared out a lot of space here. I'm going to actually scan the contents of my um, training manuals, just the parts that I want. And also I think I'm going to throw out my 
lesson plans that I've written in my journals. <laughs> I think having all my lessons online is probably enough. So here's my cleaned up spring altar. Put some intention behind what I want to create in the spring. And I put some lighter decks out for spring too. It's feeling pretty heavy what I had here. This is my teacher, Elisa Cobb's deck. It's really beautiful. So, and the, it's, I just love the, her artwork too. So that's really nice to have out. And then this is um, a fairly local artist. She lives on, in California, I believe. So on the West Coast anyways. And the, the artwork is just stunning. So I'm really, Looking forward to having that deck out again. And then this is also a local artist. She's uh, Australian, but she lives on the mainland in Vancouver. So this is uh, nice to have some independent and uh, local decks on here, as well as my favorite, uh, Lana Fairchild. This, this deck is my favorite of all her decks so far, and that is the Wild Kuan Yin deck. So this, this is making me very happy. I've spent a lot of time clearing my workspace over the last few days, and I'm really happy with that. So maybe I'll show you that as well. Um, I'm gonna hang this, but I have really cleared off my workspace and set some intention around that. This is a piece of art I was working on this morning. So that all that's on my desk is my computer and some of the things that I need, but when I'm not working on my computer now, oh, and there's that gorgeous tapestry that, um, so there's that gorgeous tapestry that Diane Elliott Burgess sent me. She's from Nova Scotia, and I decided to hang it up there. So I have decided that just creating some get better boundaries between my workspace and my home life because our our workspace is in our our home space too. So when I'm done working, I put my Ganesh on top of my laptop. I turn my laptop off and then put the Ganesh there. And then I have my Ganesh there, the remover of obstacles, and my Saraswati there for wisdom. And other than that, I just have a few pens and my stamps and things for sending thank you cards. And uh, that's about it. This fell off from the monitor. But really trying to keep my workspace. I know you've been missing the pink bathroom, so I decided to include it this week. <laughs> it's Sunday night, I'm so tired. I ended up, today was supposed to be kind of an easy day. And I guess it was, but it didn't feel that easy. I spent a lot of time decluttering. We, we decluttered a lot of the house. I guess it's spring cleaning time. I went out, Tim and I went out last night and watched a live band, which was really fun. But I'm tired today from that. And so I'm going to have a nice bath now. So I just clean the pink bathroom and I wanna show you what I'm going to be using for the bath. So this is one of the products that Sensual sent me. Uh, it's a detoxifying and replenishing bath soak. And I am, I've always been a big fan of Epsom salts and never thought that, never recognized the value of something like this. So I tried this last night and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe how much more my, relaxed my muscles are. And I guess it's because of the combination of the salt. And, so this one says, pamper yourself with skin softening and muscle relaxing bath. And it did both soften my skin and relax my muscles. Like my joints felt a lot more relaxed. So I guess it's because it has dead sea salt. And um, so it replenishes with vital minerals. So it infuses your skin with rich emollients and proteins. And then the therapeutic essential oil blend of jasmine, sandalwood, rose, geranium, and lavender instantly relaxes and calms your soul. So together they assist in mental and emotional balance to help your body release nervous tension and relax. And I just, I was just blown away. I think so far this is my favorite thing that I've tried. So I can't wait to just dip into a bath like that and then just go into a really long and relaxing sleep tonight. I have, I think, two 
Yeah, maybe just two interviews tomorrow. And so it, we're off to a varying start of, for the week tomorrow on Monday, on Easter Monday. It's Tuesday evening and I'm not sure how much I filmed this week to be honest. Yesterday I did a couple of interviews and then a lot of computer work and today I did a training for the teachers, uh, for the leaders <laughs> and, um, and uh, then Tim was really insistent that I get my inbox under control so uh, he actually made me stop planning a Namaste Yoga class to do that. So that's what I did today and it's a glorious evening so we come out to Government House, that was my request of where we go for a walk tonight and this is a, a just a magnolia tree in full bloom. These are my favorite. I know cherry blossoms are my favorite. I talk about them all the time. These magnolia trees are my favorite. They were, that was what I wanted to plant next in at our house if we stayed there. But um, yeah, these bloom for a very short time and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. My camera is actually picking up the mountains on the back of Government House today, which is pretty cool. I often get to enjoy them and talk about them to you guys, but it's not very often that my camera picks it up for you. It's Wednesday afternoon. I'm on Anderson Hill in Victoria, BC. And you can see those are the trial islands behind me. And we just finished filming Namaste Yoga number 325 on generosity. It was a pretty good film shoot in that it's lovely and sunny and warm out. We might be able to hear that helicopter going by. So there was a lot of air traffic. So we had a lot of cuts and I'm just looking, something's flashing there. Maybe battery or something. Anyway, um, so it was a good film shoot. We got that filmed and we're maybe going to go to the farm or something now to get some vegetables. Our fridge is looking really bare. But just a gorgeous day here. It's 16 degrees Celsius. Beautiful day. And the airplanes are really enjoying being out and about today. <laughs> And I got all my filming done. I've done three interviews this week. I did a training for our leaders this week. And so I'm going to take a day of silence tomorrow. Do some art, do lots of yoga, maybe do a little walk in Beacon Hill Park, but just take it easy tomorrow. Before we have our motivation meetup on Friday, we've got motivation meetups, more leadership training on Friday. We've got a really big day Friday, so I'm just going to take it easy tomorrow. It's Friday afternoon and we are at Beacon Hill Park and those are the turtles on the log because it's a sunny afternoon and they are sunning themselves. Just had some lunch here at the park. This morning I did a training webinar for our leaders and I'm, we're just, Tim and I are probably going to go out and just hang out this afternoon, find some beautiful places to do some photography and some time lapses. And then this afternoon, there's our monthly motivation meetup. And uh, Trini and I are going to the ballet tonight, so we're looking forward to that. So we come down to Clover Point, and there are these kite surfers behind us, and they are just having a blast. And they just keep running the lines here. And so when they come up close, I'm going to get some video of them for you because it's really they're just it's amazing watching them do their jumps and, and running the lines here. Good morning. It is Sunday morning and I am about to start the yoga for grounding practice. 
It's part of our weekly challenge this morning and I am really happy and proud to say I have done every single video this week for the weekly challenge. And it's been a great week. I've had a very full week this week. I did about I did seven interviews slash training slash webinars this week and that is a lot for me to really unground me. So I was very grateful to have this week's challenge to keep me grounded through it all. So I'm going to finish up my weekly challenge. This class is a 46 minute class. And then I'm probably gonna have a nice bath and then we're heading off to the Salvation Army to volunteer this morning. So I thought I'd just vlog a little bit about my practice this morning and this week because I really haven't done a lot of vlogging this week compared to usual because I've been working so much this week. So anyway, I hope you've had a wonderful week and we'll see what the rest of the day brings, but this may be it for the vlog this week too. Okay, I'll talk to you later.